Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nana and this week we went to Turnstile, a brand new underground subway mall underneath Columbus Circle. Turnstile is a main street style dining and shopping attraction underneath Columbus Circle. I just said that. Here's the description from their website. 24 shops, 10 restaurants, Italian cappuccino. French pastries, Bolivian salteñas, and New York pizza. From Ellery's Greens to Semsum, Spectre and Coda Lush, Turnstile brings you high quality restaurants and cutting edge accessories in a hip and vibrant environment. You can enter Turnstile on any corner of 57th, 58th Street and 8th Avenue. You don't have to pay to enter because it's outside the fair zone, so you don't actually have to go through a Turnstile to get to Turnstile. The food selection is diverse AF. You can find Mediterranean, Japanese, American, French, and you can shop for a range of items from necessities to niche items like dog clothes, hats, and funky sunglasses. Most shops are permanent, but other shops are pop-ups. As for the environment, it's a beautiful, well-designed space. It's very colorful, clean, compact, and thought out, all the way down to the placement of the vendors. The pillars in the hallway have these TV screens that you can use to take pictures and play games and watch endless funny stick figure skits about common problems New York commuters face. You can tell the entire theme of the space centers around youth, New Yorker, and viral culture. And it's probably the most aesthetically pleasing subway station hallway there is at the moment. In fact, the dedication to the making of this place was pretty admirable. Here's another quote from an article because I can't write. Developers visited nearly 450 places before choosing finalists. They wanted to make sure that the food tenants could maintain quality in unusual circumstances. Plus, with the huge number of people coming through, the variety was important. For after-school students, they brought in the donuttery. For the models going to Hearst magazines and health-conscious office workers, they brought in options like press juicery and vegan restaurant Blossom de Jour. <laughs> Daniel, 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 Daniel. Turnstile, which opened in April of this year, is open daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., but not all shops are open on the weekends. It totally froze! Yeah. Oh my god, it's frozen. We totally froze it. Uh Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a Pokemon cookie. <laughs> okay, so I'll get a Pokeball and you get Charmander. Okay. Yes, Love the tattoo. Oh, thank you. Haven't played in a while, but I definitely know what that's from. <laughs> so what'd you get? I got it. Shawarma. Shawarma? What's in it? It's got hummus. It's got baked beef. It's got it's got tahini carrots. Just carrots with like mixed with tahini. Um, it's got cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, pickles, hummus, and even more tahini, and also lettuce and rice. This drink was free. It is a mulberry lemonade. Mm. Let's find out how it tastes. I don't taste near another mulberry. I don't even know what the fuck a mulberry is. I got a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> it has cranberry and onions and chutney and some right. sort of nuts. And I got free chips. And I got a slaw, and uh, I have a soup, but I'm using that as a tripod for the camera because I don't like tomato soup. Apparently very common for people to order the tomato soup with the sandwich. So, let's try that. That's pasta sauce. That's not soup. <laughs> oh, little! Little Tabasco! Oh, <laughs> Fucking 
and sugar cookies. Yeah, what do you think? It's gonna taste like Pikachu? No, it does. No, it looks like Pikachu. Well, thank you for spending time with me. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram for more fun. Watch some of my other videos. It smells like a dog ice cream. It's equivalent to the crackers that you find in um, the blue tin. The royal dank. <laughs> Love you. Bye.